What's going on everyone? I'm going to show you how to enable the motion smoothness or the 120Hz refresh rate on any Samsung Galaxy S20 device. If you have the S20, the S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra, the same exact tutorial will work for you and it's super basic. You don't need to download anything crazy or anything like that. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your settings app. Okay, so as you can see, we have settings right here and you want to scroll down and you actually probably want to first update your device. You don't have to if you don't want to, but Motion Smoothness at 1440p is supposedly coming soon. So whenever that does come out, I'll go ahead and drop another video probably on how to do it or an update on it. But right now, motion smoothness is only enabled at up to 120 hertz at 1080p. So not 1440p yet, but it's not that big of a deal. So what you want to do is once you open the settings app, you want to scroll down to display, which is right there. And you can go ahead and enable dark mode if you want to. But what you want to do is you'll see this little toggle called motion smoothness. Now you want to go ahead and enable that and go ahead and open it. Now most of the time, you're going to be stuck at 60 hertz, which is still pretty decent. You know, 60 hertz at 1080p is nice. 60 hertz at 1440p is also nice. But the best thing ever, in my opinion, is that 120 hertz refresh rate so what you want to do is you want to click that and you want to click apply so it'll take like a second or two to go through and then from there you can also modify whether you want to go back to 60 hertz and everything and that's really how you enable it you just want to click high refresh rate and click apply and that's really it and it'll go ahead and respring whatever the case is and basically your phone will be that much smoother it'll make you feel like it's almost like butter honestly now it doesn't speed up your phone or anything like that but it gives the illusion that it is a smoother experience which is really nice now what I will tell you is that it's not all all perfect this does suck up a little bit of battery life it's not the end-all be-all though it's not like the end of the world but that is something to keep in mind the battery life might go down a little bit when you have 120 Hertz refresh rate on especially if you have 120 Hertz at 1080 at 1440p whenever that update comes out that's going to suck up a ton of battery so kind of keep that in mind if you're in a pinch for battery life you might want to you know take that down or you might as well put on low power mode which I think goes back to 60 Hertz like I said, not an end-all be-all, but that is something to keep in mind while you put on the 120 hertz. So that's how you do it. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite features of One UI 2, or sorry, one of my favorite features of the Galaxy S20. One UI 2 does not support it, but this one supports it. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.